content creator hits the same wall sooner or later, but nobody ever talks about it. And I know that YouTube is flooded with videos about creating content with AI and coming up with ideas with AI and these different prompts that you can use to come up with content ideas. I get it. You don't want another one of those videos. And I promise you, this is not that kind of video, at least not the way you think that it is, because I'm not just going to give you a simple prompt that says chat GPT, give me some video ideas, give me some content ideas, etc. But I'm actually going to give you the master prompt that I created as well as the files that accompany that master prompt. And I'm going to show you how to use them and set them up in your own chat GPT account so that whenever you feel like you need some content ideas or you just need to spark some creativity to get the conversation going that you can do it in no time flat. So this is more or less a demo and less about the problem solution, etc. like we typically do on YouTube. If you come with me over here to my chat GPT account, you can see that we are inside of my content intelligence agent. This is a project that I've set up inside of chat GPT. Now, before I get started, let me just explain this here with chat GPT. You are now able to set up projects and you're able to create as many projects as you want to, but you can only upload 10 files to each project. And as you'll notice, I have 10 files uploaded right here, but the thing that makes projects so special is the fact that you're able to upload custom instructions. And so here I have my 8,000 character custom instructions that I've taken from a custom GPT. People already told me in the comments, that's not how you're supposed to use projects. Well, whatever you do with your chat GPT account, that's none of my business. But with the $20 I give open AI every month, I'm going to do what I want to do with it. And I choose to use some of my projects exactly like custom GPTs for a very particular reason. Any conversation that I have with the custom GPT, whether I created the custom GPT or someone else creates it, that conversation remains over here in no man's land. And I can never group these conversations together. They're always be over the left hand side. But whenever I have a conversation within a project, it's always going to be grouped right here in this workspace so that I can find these conversations easily. Number two, the conversations that I have inside of a project are going to be able to take advantage of chat GPT's reference chat history so that chat GPT can reference the chat history within that project. And so now when it comes to custom GPTs that I've created, like this one right here, the content intelligence agent, you can see the full content creation right here with the same logo because I broke them up, but I didn't need to because I changed the approach you'll see in this video. This is just a much better workflow. And so I'm just going to come up here and start a new conversation. Help me come up with some new content ideas. Let's go in here, make sure we spell content right. Even though I don't have to, ChatGPT is good at catching misspells and correcting them. But now it's going to ask me for a little bit of information before it does what it does. And so it wants to know what platform, who's the audience, what's the purpose, and it wants to know the idea horizon, whether it's a trend or an evergreen. If I'm unsure, just type ask. And so let's just say that we're going to go for YouTube. The core audience is people who want to create better content using AI. And the transformation is that they're going to create content that generates more engagement using AI tools, prompts, etc. I want this to be an evergreen video. And then I just send that over. And the next thing that it's going to do after it confirms this is it should do some real time research type in yes, and it should start creating silos of content. And so now that I've given it the basic information that it needs to get started, let me explain what it's actually done with table one idea core. And don't worry, you're going to have these same custom instructions that I use in this project and these files. I'm going to tell you how to get access to them at the end of the video. The content intelligence agent is going to give you eight silos and 10 evergreen ideas each. So that's going to be a total of 80 ideas, 80 evergreen ideas that I can start creating content for this week. It's also going to filter them by value, clarity, and sentiment. And it's going to deliver the first two silos. Now batch one of four, I could just tap continue. I think it's still going because we have the square in the bottom, right? It's probably hung up but I could type continue 
and we'll come back once it stops. But for now, let's just come back up here to table one, right? And so right here, smart prompting, subtopic, prompt templates, prompt structuring, prompt iteration, prompt engineering. Let's go with this one. Tutorial use case, prompt like a pro, the three layer method, learn the multi-pass system that makes AI content feel human and hit harder. Uh, this is the format. It's a long form piece of content. This is the hook. Then if you come down to the second part of the table, you can see there's an AVL, a COL, a sentiment, a shelf life, published by and sources, right? So right here, we see that the AVL, that's the audience value level and it gauges how valuable the audience is likely to feel about this particular piece of content. The COL is the content originality level. How original is this actual piece of content? This video has a very high AVL and a COL. It has a sentiment score of five, which means that people love it. This is something that people love to talk about. And the sources are YouTube AI educators and the Anthropic blog. And if we read the hook right here, learn the multi pass system that makes AI content feel human and hit harder. So that's a video I could create, but even more importantly, even if I don't use that video about prompt engineering or use case chaining or persona based prompts or any of these other ideas, these scores, this information gives me a good place to start with my ideas. You might start a conversation with ChatGPT about either one of these ideas and before long, you've crafted it into an entirely different piece of content. But let's just say for the sake of this video, I go with smart prompting, prompt engineering, and I'm just going to come across right here like this and I'm gonna say let's go with this video all of the ideas that are being created right now are based on the shelf life or the half-life of all content content doesn't last long on our platforms by the time you create one piece of content you have to turn around and create another piece of content YouTube content has the longest half-life and the longest shelf life of any content now when it comes to shelf life it's evergreen Content on YouTube, if it's created the right way, it can be valuable for years to come. There's no such thing as that on Facebook or even on TikTok, the way those algorithms operate. But even on YouTube, when it comes to a half-life, most videos are going to get the majority of their views probably within the first two weeks. So it's important that whatever system we use is getting real-time data for us and helping us come up with relevant topics that we can act on quickly or that can spark some type of creativity that can move us forward. Okay, and so now stage A is complete. This is the final batch, four of four. And so now we're about to move into stage B after this is done. I already copied the the line of the video that I want to do, or at least start working on to show you guys how this actually operates. But you can look and see that it's covering everything. And if you wanted to, you could just copy all of these and put them somewhere safe and store them up to look at them tomorrow or to look at them in a couple of days and come up with a video idea then. And so now you can see as I scroll down the page that we have 80 ideas created with their audience value level and their content originality levels uh, generated for us. And it's based on the type of content that we were looking for, evergreen content. And we also have sources. We also have hooks if we look right here in this column right here. But now we're in stage B. And now that we have those 80 ideas, we can turn those 80 ideas into actual content. And so the first thing is ready to convert any of these into published ready content assets. Just say start page B with silo number to begin. And so what I'm going to do is let me paste this here first because that's the one I actually want to do. But let's just copy this blueprint YouTube format long hook max 120 characters, etc. Asset silo one smart prompting idea one video title seven AI prompts that make any post go viral. This is a long form video. This is the hook. Most creators as chat GPT the wrong questions fits that with these seven prompt templates then there's an intro demo breakdown the performance hook generator the mini story art prompt etc it comes up with the whole video inside why it works etc they're like 10 ideas inside silo one but what we're going to do is we're just going to say uh we want to do this video I want you to create a full outline of the following video 
and then paste in the bunch that I copied earlier so it knows exactly which one I'm talking about. And now it's gonna create a fully structured outline for that YouTube video. And so you can see that it gave me the full video outline with the goal, the hook, the intro, the main content, context loading, output framing, goal anchoring, and then it even created a bonus section for the prompt debug checklist, why it works with the call to action. And it's asked me if I wanna build out the full script nets, but I'm gonna deviate from this and I'm gonna ask it, are you accessing the appropriate playbook? As you can see, it is using the YouTube playbook. And so what is the YouTube playbook? Inside of this project, I have several different playbooks, Substack, Instagram, Facebook, podcast, Pinterest, Threads, YouTube, LinkedIn, and even Etsy. And within each of these playbook is basically a playbook for that platform. What content works best, the different content formats, content links, what goes viral, what does really well on the platform, what does that audience engage with, demographics, I believe. I can't remember all of the details, but it's that information to actually craft the content. Now, what we're gonna do next is this. Take the video outline that you just created, and I want you to convert that into a Facebook post with an image. I'm gonna send the message over and I'm gonna wait for it to do the rest of the work. So here's the post copy. And all I'm gonna say is this, run the image prompt now. And now it's going to create the image for me. And just like that, we have our image created. And so now all you have to do is download that. Now that we're on Facebook, paste in our rewritten copy and then come right here for images and upload the photo that we just downloaded. Make any last minute edits as far as you want to the formatting and then hit next and then post the content. And just like that, you have your content posted to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or any other platform using the content intelligence agent. And so if you want a copy of the content intelligence agent custom instructions, as well as the playbook files that I've created, I'm gonna put a link in the description. It's gonna take you to a Google form, ask for a few questions, and then it'll take you to a Google Drive folder. Make sure you copy the contents of that Google Drive folder and use it freely. Feel free to tweak this however you feel because you can always just restore the original version if you don't like the changes that you made to it. But I hope you got value out of the video and if you did and if this is something that could possibly help you spark ideas or keep your creative juices flowing as far as like thinking of things that you can share with your audience let me know in the comments hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't and as always take care have a good day and i'll see you in the next video